today's adventure is going to be changing out the propeller on this 1989 Four Winds OMC Outdrive boat. Going from a 17 inch pitch three blade propeller to a 19 inch pitch four blade propeller. Solus has always been a good brand so that's what we stuck with. The 17 pitch was good. It just over revved a lot. We were running 5, 5,500 5, RPMs, which this engine wide open throttle range should be between 4 and 4,400. So the 17 inch pitch got up on playing really nice, but we tend to lose a lot of top end speed. And in the choppy water, it just tend to blow out. And it wasn't really a good cruising propeller. So we're going to swap it out and try it out. First step in swapping on propeller is removing the cotter pin and that will get the lock nut off. Needle nose pliers makes quick work of pulling the cotter pin and that lock ring off. And as you can see, all that's left is the nut. This one is a 27 millimeter. Obviously they all can be different. To get this nut off, obviously since the prop spins freely, the trick is just putting a block of wood right between the top of the out drive and the propeller, locks it in place and then put the socket on there and break it free. Just like this. Quick test fit of the new propeller versus the old propeller. There's obviously a big difference in makeup and styling. Very nice stainless steel propeller. One thing to always remember doing when you put a new propeller on is always grease up the hub shaft with some ring grade uh, grease all the way around. That way the shaft does not corrode and stick to the hub on the propeller and then the next prop change or any service is going to be a fun job for the next guy. So grease it up, makes it nice and easy to come off for the next time. Reassembly is the same as disassembly. Put the prop on, put the backing nut on, plate on, put the nut on, and then block of wood on the top of the cavitation plate, and tighten it back down to spec. Simple like that. As you can see, the washer and the nut are in place, and you can see the cove where the cotter pin goes through. Next thing is, put the castle lock nut in there. You can see it doesn't line up perfect. So you just index it until you find the perfect spot where the hole goes through the tanks and then insert the cotter pin, just like that. Take the pliers, fold it over on both sides, and then it will be locked in place and it won't fall off while you're going through the water.